We just made these full wrap tumblers using our X-Tool F1 Ultra and our X-Tool RA2 Pro Rotary Tool, and we'll show you how we did it. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder, to make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. Last week, we talked all about how to get some B2B sales, corporate gifts, some tchotchke. This week, we we're asked to make some full wrap tumblers that we can take to our local military base. So we thought we would do that, trying out the RA2 Pro Rotary Tool. So we've had this a while, but haven't had the opportunity to really use it and showcase it in a video. So we thought we'd show you the tool, show you how to use the rail system, show you how to use the chuck system, and at the end, we're gonna give away the full wrap tumbler that we're gonna create, as well as... A bunch of laser engravable tumblers ready for you to try out at home. Stay tuned to the end for details. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some tumblers because that's what we're doing, tumblers. We needed our X-Tool F1 Ultra to do all the engraving for us, and a filter because we're doing it indoors. We're also gonna use the RA2 Pro Rotary Tool. As I just mentioned, we haven't had the opportunity to use this, so this is a great project to share with you guys our thoughts and our perspectives on this rotary tool. We know it's super versatile, and so we'll try it out this week using tumblers. We're gonna do two different methods. We're gonna use the rail system, where we're gonna lay our tumbler on the side and use the rail system to just rotate the tumbler. And then we'll try the chuck system out. I'm super excited about this one because I think it's gonna be a lot easier than the rails. So we're gonna do our first tumbler with the rails. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to assemble the chuck because I haven't done it yet myself. So we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna add the little, what is this thing? Belt. The, yeah, the little belt, the gear belt. And then in a later video, we're also gonna show you how to use the sphere a system here. So this will hold a round ball, a baseball, a Christmas ornament, and allow you to rotate a sphere, uh, you know, a spherical item. A that? ball. <laughs> and then in another video, or maybe those will be the same video, I don't no. know yet, but I'm looking forward to trying out the three prongs and doing a ring. So this will allow you to hold on to a fine, tiny piece of round jewelry and engrave on the outside of a ring. Hmm. Oh. I have to see that one. Yeah. But those are future videos. Stay tuned. For this video, we're gonna use our rail system, our chuck system, and show you how it goes. And follow us for next week's video, because next week we're gonna show you how to create your own customized full wrap tumbler. <laughs> Step two, riding the rails. We're gonna use it straight out of the box. The rotary system with the rails has three positions. So there's an A, B, C position. The C position is the widest position and that's what we're gonna use to engrave our tumbler. But you can move the rails closer and closer to engrave on smaller cylindrical items such as maybe a champagne flute that's gonna be very thin, wine glasses. But the largest position is for the tumblers here and that's gonna give us the, the best, I guess, grip for something as wide as a tumbler. The other great thing about the RA2 Pro Rotary Tool is the leveling system. So here's a separate foot that you can use to set the back of the tumbler on. Because this is tapered, you can use this to level the tumbler. It even comes with a little level system. So I can move this so that it levels the tumbler. Let me get I'm using it the wrong way. <laughs> so that it levels it perfectly for engraving. It's always engraving on a level surface. And you'll get less walking with a level surface. All right, so I think we're pretty much ready to go. We're gonna set this inside our X tool and to plug it in, it's super simple. You're just gonna attach it right to the side. Let me get this out. You're gonna plug this in, the little white in, into the back of the tumbler. This end goes right into the accessory port on the side of the F1 Ultra. And that's all there is to it. After that, it's gonna recognize the rotary tool and be ready to engrave. Now let's jump right into Creative Space and set up our design. First, we're gonna ensure that we are connected to the F1 Ultra. And then we're gonna go over here and select Mode, use Rotary Attachment, and for this first Engrave, we're gonna use the roller. 
and our material. I'm going to select the 20 ounce black tumbler, but the settings it provides are not correct. So we're going to update those. Now the first thing we're going to do is measure the thickness and you'll want to make sure that your blue and red lights are at the highest point of the tumbler so it gets the largest thickness. Largest thickness. We're going to refresh our camera. Now this bar that you see across the center of the tumbler needs to be right in line with the light, that, the red and blue light that has come together. So I have already put it in the correct place. I've imported my image. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's in the right, it engraves in the right aspect ratio or what's the word? Direction. Direction. <laughs> and then I'm going to align my image to this bar. This is where the engrave will start and the tumbler will rotate. As you can see, there's a little arrow here. It shows you which direction it's going to rotate and it will start engraving from there. So everything below that bar is your engrave area. Everything above that bar is no longer engrave area. That's right. You can't put your image in the shaded gray area above the line. It needs to start at that line because it will rotate and engrave everything on your image below that line. And here we're going to update our settings. You can see that I'm going to update the dots to 180, the power to 95% power, and then the DPI to 300. Everything else is going to stay the same. And then we'll click process. Tumblr, it came out super awesome. It fully wrapped, except except on the second pass here. <laughs> it started to overlap, like it walked a little bit, so it wasn't perfectly lined up for the second pass, but I stopped it, we saved it, it looks great. So I had read that one of the things that you'll do is once you engrave your tumblers, you're gonna wipe them off. I had read that if you do two passes on your tumbler, it would save on cleanup. Your first pass was with the blue light laser and that did the engrave. But a second pass with the IR laser will come through and clean up the original Make engrave. It shiny. Yes, so you wouldn't have as much wiping down to do at the end. But I'm not sure what I did wrong. Uh, I had both images over top of each other. I had it set to run by layer. And when it started the IR layers, layer, it wasn't lined up perfectly. So good thing Garrett stopped it. So you'll see just a little bit of a an over engrave for there's, the second there's pass. There's another reason to keep your eye on your laser projects <laughs> while they're going. So that, you know, when it gets to a point where it's acceptable, before it gets ruined, you get to stop it. <laughs> Step three, time to install the chuck and test this guy out. I'll let my lowly assistant do all the assembly work. <laughs> the great thing about this also is it comes with two different arms for the chuck. One that's just a single arm and two that has a two-step arm. So we're gonna use the two-step arm because it has a small little end that's gonna hold the end of the tumbler and not move into the engravable area. It's just gonna hold and grasp the tumbler over here on this metal section that we're not planning to engrave. So let's go ahead and screw these right onto the chuck system. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the little grippers on the end of the chuck here. There are two kinds, there's a two-step and a single step. We started with the two-step is what you can see us putting on here, but ultimately um, it didn't give us enough grip, so we went with the single step. So we'll swap that out before we actually attach the tumbler. I asked but her they... to give me three steps. <laughs> And then uh, before you add the check on, you have to take the rails off. It was pretty simple. And then this is a little um, geared screw that you have to add to the side so that the belt can go on this. Uh, so you're gonna slide that on, but then you have to go up underneath to tighten it down the little hex nuts there. Or screw. Screws. And then you're gonna add the two screws um, onto the, the top with the chuck. Put the belt on before you add those two screws. Oh yeah, good, good, yeah. good point.
Now this is pretty much the same. I'm making sure that I'm connected to the F1 Ultra and then I'm going to choose the rotary attachment, but this time we're going to select chuck. And when you use the chuck, you're required to put in the perimeter or the diameter. And then I'm going to choose 20 ounce black tumbler, but when I do, it clears my perimeter. So I'm going to go put that back in. And then same thing, we're going to measure the thickness. And then we're going to refresh the camera. When the camera refreshes, you'll see that I'm now gripping from the top of the tumbler because when I had it gripped from the bottom, uh, the view was off the screen and the rotary attachment wasn't in a good centered position. So I flipped it over and gripped it from the top. That's why I switched from the, the two-step grippers to the one-step. <laughs> That was very easy to do. I am uh, super impressed. I'm loving uh, the full wrap. I am too. This is the first time we've done a full wrap tumbler like this. I think it's really cool. This took for everything that you see here and what you can't see from this distance, and I can barely see just looking at it, is Garrett, for the tail of the fox on each one of these, has a bunch of tiny little dots to make it look gray. Uh, so with that detail, that level of detail in every one of these, they, this tumbler took about 20 minutes. Each of these took about 20 minutes. I think without that level of detail, it'd be even faster. I think so too. I, I can't wait to do some military logos like this that are all wrapped. I think they look so sweet. And I think it would be easy to do either one. Honestly, I think the rails or the chuck, I, I, I really don't have a preference, right? Well, I think the chuck, Probably would have been easier if you were coming in with a second pass because there's less walk on the check. I don't know if there's oh, any walk point. on the chuck. Good point, good point. Whereas the, the rail seemed to walk a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. It did move when it moved fast. It doesn't really walk during a slow engrave process, but when it rotates around, it does move a little bit. Jostles about. <laughs> and next week, we'll show you how to make a full wrap tumbler design, and then uh, we'll make another full wrap. You guys ready for a giveaway? We're gonna give away six of these tumblers just like we engraved today. That's like over an $80 value. Leave us a comment down below. How do you do your tumblers? Are you using resin? Are you doing full wraps? Are you laser engraving these things? Leave us a comment down below and we'll pick a winner from there. Otherwise, big thanks to our patrons. We love you guys and that is the best way to support this channel. We have a super secret Facebook group, you know, classes, but it's really about the community. The community over there is the best community ever. <laughs> I'm about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the Patreon after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. And you know how hard it is to balance like one tumbler? What if I do two? Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah. fancy. Uh -huh. And we're in. Like it's gonna be loud. Yeah, let's try three.